There we go. All right. So, yep. Back to this. A um, couple things. One, didn't record the DLC today um, simply because I actually had the idea of recording MAS. I'm not, but I actually don't think there's anything on New Year's, so, or New Year's Eve at least. Maybe there's stuff on New Year's Day that I may record. I don't know. I'll probably take a break for these couple days. I'm also, I also need to re download it too, given the uh, previous ending, so. I'm doing that too, so yeah, I'll just take like a couple days break, and then I'll record up. I'm also kind of busy as well, which is partially why I'm doing it. And also that'll give me more time to focus on Surgeons, I guess, because again, this is kind of like really my main priority. I do want to finish the post game before I go back, so. Yeah, but again, I guess for this game, um, in the previous part, we explored Holland Volcano. Um, I'm not, I didn't attempt the Mellow Web Puzzle since then, simply because I, I'll do that at some point, at some point. It'll have to be off camera and I'll just need to get lucky with the pattern. Like just cause puzzles like that are beyond my ability, so or capability. So yeah, but you know, obviously we also saw Maple catch Delta Registeel. Uh, apparently Pine thought he was gonna use the uh, Master Ball for a drinking game. I don't even, th that's like, I, I really, like, honestly, that's good for Maple, right? Good on them for, you know, being a part of the legendary uh, crew or part of the uh, legendary group. Yeah, I guess crew, better term, legend not legendary team, because that'd be like Pokemon team, but yeah, legendary crew along with us. Uh, both, well, Tane left, but Rukra still, Yarn's still part of the legendary crew. Um, who else? Persephone, nah, she's not part of the legendary crew. She's... So Maple is literally doing better than Persephone, who's a freaking cult leader. Maple's some random 10-year revoked professor. So it's like, I don't know. But yeah, and who else? Uh, freaking, well, Maul, he hasn't really battled. Damien had fucking three Deoxys. So he's a part of the triple legendary crew. Uh, the only other person who's a part of that, I think, was freaking uh, either Tane or Rukra, because technically Tane fought you with both... Uh, Kurum White and then Zekrom. And then Rukra fought you with Kurum Black and Mewtwo. And then Tane also fought with Kira, just standard Kurum and uh, Mewtwo as well. So they were part of the double crews, but only Damien's been part of Well, technically, we're a part of, we have all the legendaries crew, like six plus. So, but yeah, I mean, yeah, so that's good on me. Like, if, if I were in my character's position, this were real life, I wouldn't stop me. Well, I mean, like, that's good on them. Good on them for catching a legendary, right? We've got some of our own. You know, like Pine's talking about, oh, it's, uh, you don't want to catch legendaries. It's bad, you know, if you catch them, you should release them. We literally have, like, all of them. So it's like, um, I don't know. Yeah, it's, yeah, so we'll see. But obviously, you know, for the story progress, we got to go confront, confront Maple. So we'll just do that real quick. And then I, I honestly don't know where it's going to go from there. I hope we don't battle him. Like, I hope we don't have to battle him. But again, we'll see. So we'll see we'll see yeah we'll, we'll we'll see about that so okay something just came up oh yeah and then yeah because i i was debating going back to uh a uh, hall and volcano and then completing the metal web puzzle well, i just do not have the patience and honestly i should probably buy some um in case we do battle maple uh because that very well could be a possibility i should probably buy some revives and uh full restores so yeah i feel like that's a pretty safe bet and i should have the money to do so so yeah um yeah we will do that so let's see and yeah we have more than enough i'll buy 10 of each just to be uh where's a four store um, yeah let's buy 10 of those and then just uh honestly we probably only need five revives but i'll still buy 10 yeah, I'm, I I only probably needed, yeah, I only probably needed five of each, but I just bought 10 just because, uh, you know, you never know, right? Yeah, I it's a, it's a very real possibility because the story's making Maple out to be like a villain, like an actual joke villain. It's like, like fake evil laughs or whatever. I should have used some action power. Like fake evil laughing, um, saying the uh, Deltas are getting to them despite us literally be having an entire Delta team and since the second gym in it not impacting us whatsoever 
but again, I guess we'll, we'll see. So again, here's Holland Lake. So um, if I recall, it's on the top left, or well, either top left or right. That's how you get down to uh, the bottoms ones, how you get to the delta. So yeah, let's let's just go top left. It really doesn't matter. Oh, I'm like, I completely forgot. Um, here it is. So yeah, perfect. And then yeah, we'll go. And apparently there's a timer. Uh, yeah, it was powerful rip current. Uh, try and make it out within three minutes. Uh, that didn't seem to really be relevant, or yeah, it didn't really seem to be relevant last time. So I'm not too worried. And last time I did some exploring too. So, but now it's just going straight to presumably whatever interaction we have with uh maple so or whatever so let's see yeah and again so thereafter obviously i, I assume maple is going to end up getting all the delta reggies because right now he's after delta reg ice and i assume he has just enough master balls for the entire trio so okay where's maple wait there's pine wait what the fuck Oh my god. Maple already caught Delta Regice. That's Delta. I'm, I'm not landing yet. I'm not landing yet. That's Delta Regice right there. I guess, I don't know. I guess Maple ignored the actual Regis, Regis like he did the freaking um, Regis deal. Like he, Maple was really like, oh yeah, I have multiple Master Balls that I got lent to from the uh, uh, Scientist Club or whatever. And then it's just like, nope, don't need, it's like, fuck the action. The Registeel runs by and it's like, fuck the Registeel, don't need that. Just give me the deltas. I, I have a very similar mindset. But yeah, so he already, and presumably did the same thing to the actual Regice. The actual Regice just, like, he had the chance to catch both. He's like, nah, fuck the actual Regice, give me the delta one. But yeah, he actually has it and is literally fighting Pine with it right now, presumably. I'm surprised we didn't get automatically put into a cutscene, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest, Pine, there's no way a freaking Noivern or like any like Pokemon, weak ass Pokemon will be able to stand up to a legendary, a Delta legendary nonetheless. Obviously we can, but just like, nah, Pine's not beating a freaking Delta Regice here. Also, Pine's such an idiot, like she can't even blame him. She, she can't even blame him because A, you know, presumably he's... Well, if he if he is here on his own volition or own will, obviously that's something where they should have known, you know, the effects of Delta species, Delta species legendaries they have on people, especially, you know, people who are kind of, um, what would you call it, like vulnerable to that manipulation, right? Like, especially someone who's literally like worried 24 seven about having their tenure revoked or whatever, if they're in that kind of position, like just borderline tenure professor or whatever right they're going to be extra vulnerable so that's something pine should have seen coming second off they're an idiot for fucking giving maple the master balls thinking they're going to do a drinking game or whatever then what else would you use master balls for literally what else would you use them for a size catching legendary so i blame i'm honestly i'm siding with i'm siding with maple on this one i'm gonna freaking i'm siding with maple on this one i'm also the dude who has all deltas and legendary so freaking pine being like anti-delta anti-legendary saying Oh, you gotta put these things in the ecosystem or whatever, like a loser would do. Obviously, that implicates me as well. So, and yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. So, yeah. So I'm gonna side with Maple on this one. That's why I'm getting off where Maple is. Let's see. See, Professor Pine, even your renowned Nor Noivern isn't strong enough to stop me. That's literally what I just said. I just said a Noivern's not some weak ass Pokemon's not gonna be able to stop a Delta Regice. The three Delta Regis will belong to me. Well, I mean, he already has two. So the third one isn't that too far fetched. Presumably, if Evan are Master Ball. Are we so incredibly powerful? Like, again, there's, you can't stop me. You can't stop us. Us is in not Maple and I, but the uh, uh, Regis. Let's think you match the pure strength of legendary Pokemon and Deltas combined. And now my Pokemon have even surpassed the original Regi Trio. All I have left is to find Delta Regirock, and I'll become undefeatable. Heck, maybe I'll find Regigigas. Just complete say, you know. Yeah, I mean, we don't know if Delta Regigigas exists. So if that's something, it's like, yeah, you might as well get it. I'm unstoppable. Just try. Ah, oh, Pine, you're such a loser. What a loser. I don't know what to do. He's going power, man. You're the auger, right? Uh, I have experience with previous augers. But I'm not even sure you can. Of course I can take him on alone. Not when he has so many powerful Delta Legendary Pokemon. 
Of course I can take him on a long with an auger. I have literal primal Garantina. Like primal Garantina trumps the Delta Regis. Like I'd say it. even I'd say even primal uh what's it called? Groudon and Primal Kyogre, because now I have both the red and blue orb. I'm pretty sure both of those even trump the Regis as well. So it's something like yeah, this, the, yeah, just because he is Delta Reggie's, like, he's not undefeatable. To you, to Professor Pine, who's a weak ass, but to me, no, it's just, we're built different, but yeah, what other legendaries do, we, well, Mew can't really do it. Maybe if we got Shadow Mewtwo, or even freaking, like, uh, I wonder if there's Shadow Mewtwo X, that'd be pretty cool, or, or not, well, no, Shadow Mewtwo's not Mega Evolve, but I wonder if you can Mega Evolve Shadow Mewtwo and Shadow Mewtwo X and Y. Or maybe if it, there's like shit like, I don't know. Is there an armor in here too? We only have the Zekrom armor and we know we actually have four armor sets now. And we know a Delta Volcarona armor exists. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe there is an armor in here too, but I don't know. Yeah, that would be like some, if it is, does exist, that'll be some like post game shit. But yeah, at this point, yeah, we can stop them. I don't know what Pine Dots us. Okay, you're the auger. I can tell you this. We didn't come to the region to study Dots us. That was a cover. What is it with everything in covers now? Like the fucking satellite tower was a cover up for siphoning energy and being a prison for freaking um, Genesect, which I'm still salty I didn't catch, by the way. And now the freaking Holland University coming over to research deltas is also a cover up. Like, are you kidding me? What's not? Even after we took down the auger, auger again, second auger, who's kind of like at the beginning of the game, conspiracy central. Like, still, everything's a cover-up. Like, literally, nothing's, there's nothing that's true in this game. Everything's a cover-up. Everything's a lie. Everything's a lie. Okay, Spill, I'm, you're the freaking dumbass who brought him here, so what was this actually for, then? We're definitely happy to be doing that. Then what was the actual purpose? Organization was sponsored by the second auger is there, and oh my god, I literally just talked about him. He's freaking, wait. But he's so is he around still? Because he's been like MIA for the entire game. So what's been up with him? Is he just still like behind the scenes? I don't know. You know, before he was out as a cult leader. But this is taking place after he was outed as a cult leader. So what does this even mean? His crystal was reacting to something in the far north, the peak of the mountain, and he wanted us to find it, which was actually the auger, the crystal from the first auger, which was from the timeless, which was from when Giratina and Arceus literally created the universe. So what's north? So I guess north must be not, I guess that's probably the area that we are blocked off from. Where, um, what's it called? Not Holland Volcano, but whatever, wherever we are being blocked off from. He said it was something that would make his power, him powerful beyond his wildest dreams. I mean, he already had Rayquaza and a literal intact crystal, but he fucked that up, so... Literally, if he had, oh, after he was out of the leader of the Sky Call, we have sealed the area off. So that was back in, um, Jesus, I don't even remember the city. Um, yeah, it was that one, it was the one city that's also, it's at the base of Mount Rose. And that actually leads to the base of the Timeless. I don't remember the same thing, but yeah. So, but I guess, yeah, he really fucked up. Because if he literally would have had his normal team along with Rayquaza, he would have just stopped. But he literally just had the Rayquaza, and as a result, he lost, and that fucked up. So it's like, but literally, if he would have had a team, had Rayquaza, had the intact crystal, and then did this, he would literally have been unstoppable. He would have stomped Nyx. Even Kane and Rukra. Because Kane and Rukra right now are the two most, well, Kane's no longer in the region, but they were the two most powerful people in the region. Now Rukra still is. But again, that's, well, I guess Maple, if he gets the third Delta Reggie, he may actually be up there, but... Yeah, again, that's kind of like, because I don't think Delta Reggie stand up to the Kyurem uh, trio or whatnot, or the Dao trio, especially if you start combining them or giving them buffs. Like, Armored Zekrom probably beats the Delta Reggies. Uh, either Kyurem White or Black beats the Delta Reggies. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but that's that's kind of like a different discussion. But yeah, that would be something where, like, Yaren really dropped the ball. He really had everything going for him, but, well, obviously he needed to make it happen with Persephone, and then sending the auger, the first auger, to our dream world, and then uh, wiping our memories, effectively killing him and us, presumably, because obviously we wouldn't have our memories. But if that filthy trailer was getting involved, well, we didn't want to know. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we still work for him, though. So, but then why are they still here now? Because if that was the purpose, 
then why are they still here if they're not doing it? But now that we've seen the legendary golems in this region, as well as their Delta counterparts, well, let's just say I have a hunch as to what Yarn might have found. Is, is it like some sort of, obviously it's not another crystal, but maybe Delta Rayquaza? I don't know, some other extremely powerful Delta legendary above the Regis. Maybe Delta Regigigas, like freaking uh, Maple mentioned Delta. Again, Delta Rayquaza would not be my best guess, but if I'm right, hopefully it can help you out. It? Well, yeah, help you out. You have to stop him. Bitch, I'm not going to stop Maple. He can do whatever he wants. You're the freaking idiots who brought him here. And plus, I've got my own issues to deal with, right? Back in Torn. So Rukra is still, you know, thing. Yarn's still MIA. You know, he's still alive. Like, uh, freaking uh, Percival Maul is still in the dream world. Like, I've got my own issues to deal with. As well as whatever the new Elite Four champion is. You guys were the idiots who brought him here. Like, that's freaking a, that's a you problem, right? So what? You can't stop him. It's still a you problem. I mean, that's a, that's a, just very, well, that's very unfortunate if you can't stop him. But I mean. This is why we called you here. You're the auger now. These are the baddies. I do not care. I could not care less. If you had Selma and Juliet. Okay, so we'll actually go through. I'll go ahead. I could not care less about this. It might be our only chance. I could take Mabel down with my actual team. And I should say, Mabel's not as smart as he thinks he is. Is he thinks that we don't have Master Balls too. You're a freaking idiot. He's certainly smarter than you, given you brought him here and literally thought he was going to use him for like a drinking game. Bitch, give me that shit. Put the Master Ball away in the Pokeball pocket. Use that. Bitch, I got two now. Bitch, I'm not using the Master Ball. Fuck that. I'm keeping it for myself. Fuck you, Pine. Like, you actually, you actual dumbass. Like, I'm not going to do shit. Like, I'm going to take, I'm going to cat. you. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to capture a Legendary and then dip. Just because I have no reason to be here beyond that. So, well, I still need the uh, Meloetis. Really? Okay. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's like, this, this is like, they're actually putting, they're actually making Maple a villain, like an antagonist. Like, are you kidding me? They literally had the him fake evil laugh. Like, are you kidding? That's like the most campiest fucking, um, okay. What, it, what I'm going to sit here for three minutes. No, I'm not. I'm, I actually don't want to waste that time, but yeah. And before that soft locks the game, that'd be the third soft lock we came across, but yeah, that's why I'm like, wait a second, I actually don't want to do that. I don't want to, like, jeopardize the game. But, yeah, I guess we'll go to uh, Selma and Juliet. So, yeah, freaking Yaren, oh, my God. So, he was completely aware of Holland, too. Because that's actually provides some uh, – that provides some pretty interesting insight to kind of what Yaren was doing before kind of the events of uh, – the actual events of the game. Because, obviously, we know – Sometime after, you know, we fought him the first time. Okay, this is a monologue time. Because after we fought Yaren the first time, that's when he he became aware of Nyx and kind of what she was doing, right? And that also related to the Crystal's origins. That pretty much after we fought him in Shadow of the Crystal, that's kind of what he turned his attention to. But that's pretty good insight to what he was doing before then. Like from once he took, uh, stepped up as a second auger to you know, ultimately the actual start or the start of the events of the game. And that was, so he actually held an interest in Holland. That's pretty interesting. Again, obviously it's because his crystal supposedly, or the crystal supposedly reacted to whatever it was. And again, I, my best guess is Delta Rayquaza. But I mean, again, that's something we're like, we'll see. So it's like, you know, I don't know. She gave us a master ball clearly. So it is a legendary but um, yeah, my best bet would be Delta Rayquaza. But again, that's kind of like, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll just see about that. That's something where it's like, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty interesting because I honestly, I find Yaren to be underused. Like, I find him to be underused. Like, I think he should have done more after we fought him the second time. Like, it should have been something where maybe we fight Nyx together or at least there's some post game. Just because he's such an interesting character because he's kind of like, he was like the one uh, loop in like, what's it called? Nix's plans, right? He was like the ones, okay, well, on now, now here's Selma and Juliet, right? Oh yeah, here's Selma and Juliet, perfect. So he was kind of like the one wrench in Nix's plan, which is, that, that it is very like interesting. It's extremely interesting. 
I think his character was, if anything, underutilized. I'll do like a review of this game once I'm done with it, but okay, that dude left. So we can actually get all the snowballs now. So this presumably wherever we're going to is wherever uh Yaren's freaking uh crystal was reacting to. So that's kind of like interesting, I guess. Yeah, it's, it, it obviously is a legendary that I was reacting to. And I think my best bet would be um, Delta Rayquaza. So that would be my best bet, Delta Rayquaza. Uh, that's that's what I'm guessing. I have no clue if it's right. Who the hell, what the hell is this dude doing on top of here? How did this guy get up here? Look at these boring people running around trying to do all these things in the name of science. Science is cool and all, but I'd rather not have to be around all these people who go around acting like they've got a stick up their ball all day, you know? See, listen, you look different from the rest of the people in this settlement, so I figure you'll be able to help me out with my plans. My mission for you is to bring me 100 snowballs so I can stand up here and peg anyone who looks like they're trying to out to control everything that's going on here. Science is meant to be fun, you know? Anyways, I'll be waiting for good news. Oh my God, yeah, I only have 15. That's why I'm like, how the hell did this guy get up here? Like, this area was blocked off, but I guess, yeah. To be honest, he does have a point, though, right? Like, there's no, like, science is a good rationale or, like, logical system to go by, but it's not the only one. And it's not, you know, the all, like, the absolute all-knowing being, like, system either. It's something like, yeah, it's, you, you have to accept the flaws that science evolves and it doesn't know everything. So that's kind of like people who act as if it's like absolute. And that's kind of like you're just being obnoxious and ignorant at that point. Like it has it in arrogant almost. But yeah, it has its flaws and you need to acknowledge that. It's certainly probably one of the better ones to go by, if not the current. I wouldn't say it's the best, but yeah, it is one of the better ones to go by, I'd say. So like... Yeah, that's something where it's like, yeah, I think it is one of the better ones to go by, but it's not the only one. It's by far not absolute, like, all-knowing, you know, the best to go by. So it's like, yeah, people who kind of, again, are not just have a stick up that's up their ass regarding it. They're kind of like, yeah. Mm. They're kind of, yeah, that's kind of exactly who that guy is talking about. They aren't, they, they are a subset or type of people. And yeah, this isn't even necessarily solely about science versus religion, right? Like there, it, those aren't the only two sort of forms of like systems that you can use for like actions, right? Morality could be one. Like you could think about whether like science, like freaking perfection cult's a great example. Yeah, they're a very sciencey salt, but cult, but uh, uh, or sciencey group, but is what they do moral? That's another question, right? Hmm. But then there are issues regarding morality, like what's the standard of morality, right? <laughs> what is moral? Like, maybe not. You can also do shit with violate efficiency, you know, what's most efficient, like shit like that, right? You know, science isn't the only one, it's not the best, and it's also not restricted to science and religion. It is definitely one, or science versus religion, it is definitely one of the better ones, but that dude has a point. Like, people would say, like, people would literally be like, oh, he's a conspiracy theorist, oh, he's anti science, right? But that is a legitimate issue, and it is a legitimate subset of people, or like group of people. Gaia Core. Damn, where the hell are we? Okay, so we're, it's like a cave. Oh my god, we got the uh, cave theme. Really? Damn, yeah. So I wonder, I'm not even, I'm not going to pull up Gaia Core, because the first thing it would say would probably be whatever legendary. My bet is a uh, Delta Rayquaza. Ooh, a Premier Ball. Yeah, my bet is a uh, Delta Rayquaza. That's honestly, that's my best guess at this point. Like, I don't know what else his crystal would react to. No items in there. But um, yeah, ooh, Pokeball. Like, yeah, I don't, uh, iron. Okay, thanks. But yeah, I don't know what else his crystal would react to other than another Delta that he could, or the Delta of his premier legendary. I don't know how deep this thing goes, so. But I guess, so is Maple here? Like, presumably Maple's, I guess that's a big question. Is Maple here? Because presumably Maple's after the third Reggie. So if this is something where we're here before Maple, we can beat Maple to the punch and obviously acquire the legendary, which is what we're supposed to do. So what's this freaking uh, water here? Give me that shit. What the hell are those? I have no clue what... Okay, that's just uh, brown, water, uh, white. Or br shit. Brown, blue, white. I don't know what that's supposed to signify whatsoever. Let's see. Okay, we can't even go that way. Nice. 
But yeah, I don't know. My best guess is Delta Rayquaza. It's, it, I think it's obviously Delta, a legendary, a Delta legendary at that. I think it's got to be a Delta legendary. It's obviously a Delta legendary. Okay, let's see what's at the end of this cave. Yeah, I think it's, again, obviously a Delta legendary, but my best guess would be Delta Rayquaza um, again. So we'll, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, let's see. What the fuck is that? It's literally just a hole in the ground. What is, what is the noise? What is this black? Like, what is the periods? Like, what is that sort of text? What's about to appear? It's going to go into the legendary summoning screen. And what's, a, oh my God. What legendary is this? Oh my God. It is Reggie. Yeah, you can see, because that's the, yeah, oh my God. It is Delta Reggie Gigas. So it does exist. Oh my God. And look at all those eyes away. Like it's three pairs, six total eyes. No, it's actually just a standard Regigigas. Oh, that's kind of boring. Honestly, I thought it'd be a Delta Legendary, but I guess, you know, obviously you can't have everything. So, you know, and it kind of is what it is. But I'm going to be honest, I don't think Delta, I don't think just standard Regigigas could stand up to the Delta Regi Trio. Being entirely honest, obviously the standard Reggie Trio, but I think it would take Delta Reggie Gigas, but obviously that presumably doesn't exist. So it's like, I don't know. I, I'm not going to lie. This was kind of lame. I thought it'd be like Delta Rayquaza or like just Delta Reggie Gigas was another sort of thought, but just standard. I mean, come on. Seriously? Like, first off, I'm not worried about Maple's power 100. Okay. Let's, uh, wait, shit. What the fuck? Hold up. What's it? Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what does this look like? What the fuck is that? It's literally off the fucking screen. Are you kidding me? It can also go primal. Wait, what? Oh my God. That's why Yearn's crystal was reacting because somehow Reggie Gigas has a crystal piece as well. I, I'm not going to lie. I just thought it was literally just going to be standard Reggie, I guess, but that's, this is actually really good. So now... I said this was lame earlier. I was wrong. This is actually really good. Freaking, how did, I guess that raised the question though. How did it get a crystal shard? I guess, or crystal piece. I guess, and this was before Yaren's crystal broke. So ultimately, you can't make the argument that, oh, when it shattered a fourth crystal piece, landed at Holland. That's not the case. So how did it get a crystal piece? I don't know. I don't, hold on. Let me, I'm going to look up Delta Regigigas. Emma Ford has some ability like Omni type, like freaking uh, Delta, or, or no, not freaking Delta Regigigas. Uh, um, yeah, let's see. So, yeah, and Emma Ford has like some ability like Omni type, like Primal Guarantee. And that's what I want to look like. It's normal ground. Oh my God, its ability turns into unaware. So it no longer has slow start. Oh my God. Let's see. What does unaware even do? Let's see. Are ignored. Okay. So just stat changes are ignored. That's actually hilarious. So it's literally, oh my God, 770 stats, 195 attack. Dude, this thing's going to wipe my entire team. I'm sorry. This thing's literally, and oh my God, that's pretty cool. It's Pokedex Sentry. There's an enduring legend that says that there's Pokemon Toe Consonants with ropes. And you can look and see it's in its freaking primal form. It's literally got that rope. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. I think I gotta use a master ball here just because this thing's literally gonna sweep my whole team. So I, I lied. This thing can definitely stop. Um, this thing can definitely stop. What's it called? This thing can definitely stop. Um, by the Delta Reggie Trio. So, but yeah. Again, hopefully we get good stats. Normal ground. I guess that makes sense because it's like constant. Yeah, because obviously, if I'm going to use a Master Ball, I may as well use it now. Um, I'm kind of saving my R1 for Arceus, because I assume, given the whole Giratina Arceus storyline, we encounter Arceus at some point. I think that's a safe bet. Yeah, just give me that. I'm not even wasting time. There we go. Throw that in the PC. I don't even need it. I, honestly, I still think Primal Giratina is better than Primal Giratina. Just being entirely honest. It's nice that Primal Regigigas loses its slow start. Why did I give it a name? It's nice that Primal Regigigas loses its slow start, but I still think Omni-type's just too powerful of an ability. 
Would you like to access? Bitch, no, fuck that. I don't need it. I'm just built different. Oh my God. I mean, good thing I saved right before this. So if I actually did need it, I see I'm too late. So Maple knew of Reggie Gigas then. I guess to be fair, you know, given the true nature of this whole project, right? This, what would you call it? This uh, um, exercise or like, not excavation, but like this, the true nature of this whole um, event, right? Or yeah, I guess exercise would be a good way to call it. Well, no, not even, not really that. But the true nature of kind of this whole um, ambitious project or whatever, you know, it wouldn't make sense that he would know about, you know, whatever, even if he didn't know his primal Reggie Gigas, or even if he didn't know it was just Reggie Gigas itself, he would know that there would be something, right? Or that there was something uh, up here. Even, and again, likely stronger and more powerful than the Delta Reggie trio. So, but obviously, again, that's something where it's like, presumably, I assume he has the Reggie trio here. Like, I assume he actually went and got a Reggie rock, Delta Reggie rock, and then immediately came here afterwards. So, yeah, I was hoping to complete the entire collection. So he did know it was Reggie Gigas. Likely primal, but I guess it's worthless. Reggie Gigas is a Delta species after all. Does he know that it can go primal? But obviously, even though it can, it's still not Delta, but still. Like, I'd say Primal Reggie Gigas stomps the Delta Trio, Reggie Delta Trio, or Delta Reggie Trio. It was a valiant attempt, so I'll give you that. I, I don't even need freaking Reggie Gigas to beat this dude, but Delta Species are, I literally have a party of six Delta Species Pokemon. I am fully on board with Maple here. Deltas are the future. Even if you don't get Reg, even if you do get Reggie Gigas on your side, you can't stop me. I don't want to, but for the story to progress, nobody can. I can. I've come too far. Okay, literally fake evil app. I'm going to take you down. I, I really hope this dude has like such a stupid battle theme. Like I don't want it to be the standard trainer theme. I hope he has like such a stupid battle theme. Not even with Reggie Gigas. I don't have Reggie Gigas. I'm going to beat him without Reggie Gigas. Oh my God. It's literally just the standard theme. Uh, look at this dude. He looks like such a loser. Mad professor. What kind of title is that? It's knockoff Rucross. Where's fucking Han? Let me pull up his team. Because given I'm not using uh, Delta Reggie or Primal Reggie Gigas, I'll just pull up his team. I feel like that's fair. Uh, let's see. There's already a Professor Maple in real life, so I need to Google the Insurgents version. Let's see. Let's see what his uh, team is. So, yeah, it's just one battle now. Uh, yeah, this guy's got a weak-ass party. It's kind of interesting, though, not gonna lie, but yeah, he's got a weak-ass party. Like, yeah, we actually let off, yeah, we let off, uh, on a pretty good note here. And this is actually, that's so cool. This is actually his, uh, Mega. He's got the Delta Charizard eye on it. So we know it's gonna Mega, he's, we're getting a taste of our own medicine. He's got a freaking, uh, Mega Evolved Delta Charizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a ghost type attack, but he does have a dark type attack. But even still, the dark type attack doesn't get stabbed. It gets knocked and buffed, but it doesn't get stabbed. But yeah, still. So this, I don't think it can kill us in one shot. So I think we just ice beam it. Obviously, Moonblast is lower due to once it mega evolves, it'll get knocked and buff. Yeah, that's something where it's like again. So yeah. And again, it does have, hold on. What's, what's boundary? I want to look at Delta Registeel's ability. Boundary causes all right type used by Pokemon with this ability to become fire type and receive 30% damage boost. Boundary also causes Stealth Rock to become fire type. Okay, yeah, we survived. I didn't even see what move it used. That crit wasn't even necessary. But yeah, hold on. Wait, that's actually Delta Registeel's hidden ability. Its actual ability is flamed by Steelix's, uh, Mega Steelix's, uh, or is that Delta Steelix? I don't know. Mega Steelix's uh, ability is Foundry, so yeah. So I guess the freaking uh, Delta Red Steel's is in ability. The Delta Red Rock also has dry skin. So Blastoise. And then, yeah, he's he's got the Delta Trio starters, and then he's also got the Delta Reggie Trio. But I mean, again, we also have a team of six Deltas as well. Like, I'm fully on board with this dude. Obviously, we're going to die to this Delta Blastoise, though. But even so, even with um, its specs, though, not Scarf. But yeah, even still, even with Noctum uh, modifiers, Moonblast is still quite effective. Really? I mean, come on with that, seriously. Wow, that actually didn't kill it. 
But if anything, he is actually likely to, to use a full restore here. He did use a full restore. So yeah, we can actually just milk him out of all his full restores. That kind of sucks that he revived Delta Charizard. Damn, I was kind of hoping it wouldn't kill, so it used at least one, maybe two more four stores. But what's nice is the uh, leftovers here. Heal. And there's Delta Regirock with Dry Skin. But Dry Skin doesn't uh, counter Ice Beam. It has Earthquake and Stone Edge, though. So, honestly, is this thing outspeed us, though? It doesn't. So, yeah, super effective. Earthquake, rip. So yeah, he would be, I guess that raises it. He may use a full restore. He may use an R4 restore on Delta Regirock. I can see that. I can I, I think that's low enough HP to where he'd use a full restore. So yeah, being entirely honest. So yeah, let's see. Um what would dry skin so Demix doesn't work? Jackbox seed bomb works. Hold on, let's see what Delta Regirock stacks is. Let's see, it has 200 defense. So yeah, we wanna use uh, special attacks against this thing. So uh, yeah, who's special? Is it only Demix? It may only be Demix, but again, that just the dry skin. Is that even its normal ability? It's its hidden ability. He's got all hidden abilities on these things. So yeah, even Delta Regice is probably, yeah, it's its hidden ability, so. This dude's got all his hand abilities, or all the hand abilities on Delta Reggie Trio, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. But yeah, dry skin, so. The thing is, honestly, though, given it as, because again, 200 defense, that's just, yeah, like that's, we're, we're, I, I'm sorry, 200 defense, we're not using a physical attack against this thing. 200 of its 580 IVs are in defense, so again, and again, with dry skin, Demix doesn't really fare well. I think Demon's a good switch in here. Even if the only our special attacker we have. And I, we actually do outspeed it, so. So what I'm going to do is Mega Evolve on Noctum Shadow Ball. I think that deals more damage than even Lunar Cannon, which is just a dark type. It doesn't get the stab. But um, yeah, that's something where it's like, yeah, we got to use a special attack. So, oh, he didn't heal. I thought he would still heal, or I thought he would heal up. I, I was hoping Shadow Ball would still at least two shot it. Still, it brightened again. So actually, this is actually kind of, I'd say it's kind of beneficial. Well, I guess not because he has Centaur Venusaur. What's hilarious is they redesigned Delta Venusaur, and the it, Winky still uses the old design. But yeah, let's see. This thing is a uh, Fairy Psychic, so I guess. Shadow Ball should hold on. How much speed does this thing have? Because yeah, Ghost type moves should still work against this thing. So uh yeah. We yeah, outspeed it. So yeah, ghost that's what I was saying. Ghost type moves, yeah, they are still super effective. So obviously, well, yeah, it's got a draining kiss, and they even have shadow ball. So yeah, but a fairy type would have obviously been super effective against it. Now he's got Delta Charge it. Oh my god. Obviously, we outspeed it, it doesn't have a priority move. So wait, what? Oh, he can't mega. Wait, what? I don't understand. Well, first off, he didn't mega evolve because it died, so it can no longer mega. Second off, how did it? I guess, does he really have like max EVs, IVs on that shit? Like, are you kidding? Reg Ice, and there's the Delta Reg Ice. Hold on, let's see its stats. Its stats are probably fucked up too. Okay, it is. This one is 200 special defense. So, yeah, this one's got all its EVs in special defense. So, uh, yeah, let's use the uh, actual physical attack here. Yawn, look how low that did. Its ability is Storm Drain. That's the one where it uh, is resistant to water, right? Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, it gives, oh, yeah, it gives, um, what's it called? Yeah, it gives it resistance and focuses all moves or moves of that type onto it. So, yeah, but since this thing's specially defensive, uh, or no, especially defensive. Yeah, honestly, I think Jackbox is a good bet against this. Yeah, Jackbox is a pretty good bet against this, so. Yeah, let's see. Uh, again, let's use uh, Seed Bomb here. Ice Beam, yeah, that won't deal that much, though. So. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, it's Life Orb. 
But yeah, with all leftovers, heel will be. Oh, I was gonna say we would have been able to get another seed bomb off anyway, though with leftovers heal. So yeah, Professor Mabel, easy as fuck. Don't even need the uh, Delta uh, or the Primal Regigigas. So let's see. His last Pokemon is literally the uh, uh, Registeel. So Delta Registeel, and this thing's got a yeah. So but because of Foundry, its attacking move Ancient Power is actually Fire type. So. And we literally have flash fire. This thing can't touch us. We unironically win here. Like this thing actually doesn't touch us. Molten rocks slow in the air. I guess, but we're not switching out. Because again, we got flash fire and it's only attack is gonna be a fire type due to boundary. So yeah, that's hold on. What is Delta Registeel stats? Okay, so this one's even on defense and special defense. Okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, this one's even. So yeah, Delta Regirock is defense version, Delta Regice, special defense version, Delta Registeel, uh, both. Okay, and yeah, it's not using Ancient Power because it knows it can't, because again, that's literally just would boost our Flash Fire, so. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, again, we'll see, we'll see, so. Bruh. I'll use a four store. I bought ten. I need I need zero total. Let's see. Yeah. This thing does it. I actually think it has it may have more defense than freaking um uh D no, I don't think it has more defense than Deoxys defense, but it, it's up it's up there because obviously Delta Reggie Rock and Delta Reggie Rock have more defense than Deoxys defense for their respective. Uh, defense stats, but um, given that Delta Reggie Steel is kind of the combo, uh, yeah, again, look at Flash Fire. Yes, that's why I'm like, again, because its ability is a uh, foundry. So there we go. Yeah, let's see. There's that. We didn't even need freaking uh, Primal Reggie Gigas. What? No, impossible. Didn't even need Primal Reggie Gigas. Didn't even need it. Unnecessary. But 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 but. Ow. It's that's impossible. My deltas are superior. Mitch, I, they, they need to have like some sort of alternative text if your entire team is deltas, because literally I have six. You must have cheated. Sabotage. How, how would you cheat in a real life Pokemon about? I like pull out a gun, shoot them. Cheating is an academic offense warranting expulsion. This dude, they, are you even tenure at this point? Never mind. I'll buy my time for now. I'll. Who the hell is this dude? It's over. This random cop is going to take down the dude with three Delta, with the entire Delta Reggie trio. Okay, just give it up. You can't arrest me. I'm the lead researcher at Holland University. Well, is that is that actually the case? Because this dude was apparently like borderline tenure revoked. I've won awards. I've captured legendaries. I have tenure. Hey, this dude does have his tenure though. Let's just make it easy on both of, both of us, Buster. Who is this random cop who is trying to arrest the guy with literally not only the Delta, like, because obviously the entire Delta Reggie trio is a pretty big deal, but even he's got the Delta starter trio. That's a pretty big deal in and of itself, too. Obviously not to the same caliber, but let's go. Damn. Fuck you, Pine. Get out of here. I don't even want to see you. Just give me whatever you want to and leave. Like, just leave. Listen, I owe you one, maybe two. Can't really repay you for all you've done for home. Thank you. Well, Thank you for helping us with our exploration or resource, exploring the region and stopping Professor Maple. Listen, I'm sure you know about my Pokemon inventions. I literally don't. It's not much, but hopefully this can help you out. Ancient Balls. How many? If they're like 50, maybe, but like the Ancient Ball is the strongest in Ultra Ball, but if you use it on a legendary Pokemon, it has many times the catch rate. And again, thank you. The idea of such a young dog are weirded me out first, but you know, everyone's worthy of that position too. Of course, because we've literally saved two entire regions. Hopefully you don't turn out to be a traitor. Um, don't worry about it, dog. Like, it wouldn't even matter because how would they? Obviously, we could stop Maple, but even if we did turn out to be a traitor, how would they stop us? Like, we literally have how many? Uh, was it actually 20? That's actually pretty nice, though. But yeah, like, even how would they stop us? Hold on. What, wait, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's fix the screen. Hold on, I'm gonna jump into that hole, see what happens. We probably won't be able to, but yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Hold on. Let's, uh, yeah, let's jump in the hole. So, Damn, we can't. And what the fuck is that? I don't know. Let me actually pull up the Gaia Core. Oh, and I want to see the uh, Gaia Core. So, 
Let's go back to Selman. Juliet Gaia Core. Let's see, there are AMs in here. Okay, uh, it is actually 20 Ancient Balls, so. Yeah, so this ends the mark, this marks the end of the Holland Quest plot line. So that's the end of that. Uh, yeah. And so I, I guess the main question is how did the Delta Regigigas get a crystal piece? Like, cause that, again, we know, cause Yaren was interested in this before the game even started. So it wasn't after the crystal shattered. So how did it get a crystal piece? That's, that's really the biggest question of them all. So yeah, just being entirely honest, that's kind of like, that's the main question. Yeah, how is that even possible? I don't even know. Let's see. Yeah, and this marks the end of the Holland Quest plot line. So, well, I guess, shoot, I should have known that this was uh, Ancient Maura. Perhaps long ago had some sort of puzzle, but since fade away. I still need to do, really? Oh, wait, 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 bitch, I thought we were going to exit the cave and something was going to happen. I didn't think anything story related would happen inside the cave. Oh, my God. So, oh, my God, it's Damien. So, where even is he? Is he still in the dream world? Did he leave? You know, I'm not even sure he can leave. Like, because Adam couldn't, so... But, yeah, so I guess presumably he's A-OK -okay now, you know? But, um, so what has... So, freaking, um, so I presume he's... Is, I don't know, I guess that does raise the question. Is he or is he not in the dream world? Clearly, he's entirely OK at this point. And presumably, everyone else from the perfection... Or the, the Dark Rai Hall who got infected was OK. But, obviously, Damien was infected for longer, and he was directly under Maul's control. He's, like, right-hand man while then. But, again, that also... Raise the question of if he's in the uh, dream world, you know, what about all personal? What are they doing? Listen, I'm still, I'm still storing through all my memories from when I was weird. I'm trying to piece together what happened, you know. Honestly, best he probably drop, drops. Honestly, what's best is he probably drops it and then we tell him what happened. Because obviously, we know what happened. So it's like, uh, yeah, I guess I don't know. Oh, my God. this. So he, because he was infected ever since Sonata City, like the Sonata Hospital. So he didn't even know he killed Audrey. So he doesn't, because he actually played a major part in like him and Maude. He killed Audrey, uh, killed, uh, what was it? Um, well, didn't kill Zenith. That was the Oracle. Basically sent everyone to the Dream Realm by interfering with Persephone's plans. Um, they also, again, they all, he had the, held the crystal piece for a while, right? You know, every, and then also everything else involved in the dream world. So, and just say, well, I heard there was a nasty storm in Maelstrom 9. Oh, my God, we are going back. How fitting, too. Because, again, we know the whole reveal regarding Audrey, Damien being Audrey's son. And now, again, it's like, now there's something in Maelstrom 9. Oh, my God. Is it freaking Kyogre? There are some things I remember about that place. Does he know what happened, though? Does he know what he did? Nothing super clear, but I need to see. Oh my God, he's going there too. Bitch, I know the next place we're going to. It'd mean the world with me if you come with. I might need help with whatever's causing the storms. It's obviously Kyogre, but I mean, Primal Kyogre. Well, no, shit, wait, wait. Oh, because yeah, again, Audrey used the crystal piece to get uh, Kyogre to Primal Revert, uh, not the blue orb. So we just happened to find the blue orb. So, but yeah, again, I know where I'm going straight to fucking Maelstrom 9. So I guess I had the right idea checking it out earlier before I went to Holland, but not the right idea with regards to, um, uh, what would you call it? Not the right idea with regards to um, uh, doing it before, like it would the supposed story, uh, the supposed story element was introduced or that story arc was introduced. But oh my God, this, this fucking game, despite the soft lock, still a great game. Why am I going this way? That's not the right way. But yeah, I mean, oh my God. So how did, I don't understand. How did the, how did Reggie Gigas get a crystal piece? That's still what I'm curious about. Like how that actually happened. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, that's like, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see. Oh my God. And I guess then what, so does Maple still have the Delta Reggie trio or not? So what happened with that? Are they in just in their respective locations? I don't know. Yeah, bitch, we didn't even need the fucking Reggie Gigas. Like, that is un unnecessary. Oh, yeah, and there's uh, Professor Pine, so. Yeah, let's see. I feel like if there's any Pokemon we used, uh, uh, give me that item. Uh, 
because yeah, I think I I even think Delta Regigigas is or Primal Regigigas is inferior to um uh Primal Giratina. I just think Omni types just too powerful of an ability. Let's see. So yeah, let's uh look at uh yeah let's let's look at uh these things. Oh yeah, we have a uh, Dark Ride too. So look at our legendary collection. Oh yeah, I meant to also give the Zekrom armor to uh Zekrom, but I'll do that. So summary. Let's see, Jolly Nature. That's actually pretty decent. Yeah, it's actually pretty decent. So, uh, that's actually pretty decent IVs too. 31 defense IVs, 26 speed IVs. So we actually got fast as fuck Regigigas. But yeah, I mean, oh well. Obviously halves attack and speed. But um, yeah, we don't have, if only we had uh, the special attack IVs weren't special defense, but. Crush Grip, Heavy Slam, what the fuck do these even do? It's more powerful the more HP the target has left. Let's see. Giga Impact, Crush Grip, uh, Payback, so... Yeah, let's just uh, swap these two. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's not too bad. Hold on. I actually want to give um, uh, Item... Yeah, I want to give it the... Uh, I want to give it him the Zekrom armor. Oh my god, look at it. That looks so badass. Zekrom armor. And hold on. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to give both of these guys the uh, crystal pieces. I, I took them off. Don't really know why. I'm actually just going to give them the crystal pieces. So, yeah. And again, it doesn't have a, what's it called? Uh, it doesn't have its... Uh, or it doesn't become a uh, primal until like you actually use it in battle. So unlike Zekrom, which has its own uh, sprite for being armored, these two don't have theirs until again you actually get in battle. So, but yeah, so hold on. And also in case we have the uh, DNA splicers, so if we had um, so if we get Curum, we can actually make Curum white. But um, yeah, for right now, just yeah, give the Zekrom armor to them. And again, we can also give the uh, red orb. Uh, we can give the red orb the ground on. So, because again, we got the red. So we have two crystal pieces left, but I don't know what they would be used for. I guess, I'm not sure if they also work on, uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm not sure if they also work on Groudon and um, uh, Kyogre, but yeah. Because I think we obviously, Audrey and uh, Zenith use them regarding for like story purposes, but that kind of brings up the question, do they still work? So. Yeah, let's see. Obviously, we got our legendary. So yeah, look at the. Uh, yeah, we actually have powered up both powered up Zekrom and Kurum because you all get Kurum White and then armored Zekrom. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, hold on. Does a uh, kind of anything? Let's see. Actually, what is it? I was exploring Torn Ridge. I found some Delta species that nobody seemed to know. It's just lying there. What is the Delta species? Took so up. Perhaps you'd like to hear it. Yeah, but I think it belonged to the blue-haired cultists who fled the region. Wait, what delta species did he have? He had like many deltas over. Isn't that the delta uh, Darmanitan? He had the delta Darmanitan. That's what. That's what I remember his uh, delta being. He also had delta. Uh, he had the delta. The first. No, is that the? That's the only delta I think he actually had. I, yeah, I think that's the only Delta he actually had. Like, I can actually go through a Tane, uh, Tane's character page, uh, characters. Yeah, let's go to uh, Tane, so. Let's see. Uh, yeah, hold on. I want to see his, uh, let's see. Hold on, I want to see his uh, all his battles. Yeah, the first battle in Perfection Base, uh, he didn't have a Delta. He just had the Mega Stunfisk and the Cure on the second battle with the armored Pokemon, yeah, with armored Zekrom, yeah, he didn't have a Delta then. He just, he had the Mega Charizard then. And the third battle of Dragon Ruins, yeah, he didn't have a Delta then. He just had the armored Zekrom and the uh, Curum White. So, yeah, the fourth battle again with the Mewtwo, yeah, that's when he had the Delta Darmanitan. And then the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Mewtwo, obviously, Mewtwo and Curum. And then the fifth battle, again, same exact team. He actually mentions, he just switches the... Uh, uh, Mega from Z Zeb Striker to uh, Polyrath. He actually does get um fucking Kieran Black though, so there is a change there. But and then again, the last battle 
The last battle, he actually has a Delta Arcanine, but I'm he and he has the Delta Metagross too, but that's also um, what's it called? Uh, that's from Kuria, literally a different region because <laughs> it has a crystal fragment and a crystal move, which don't even exist in this game. But uh, the blue hair, oh my god, Tane. So we're actually getting his Pokemon. Oh my god, it was the... D oh my. Bitch, this thing better have good stats. I swear to god. I didn't say before. This thing better have good stats. I, I swear to god. If I look at this thing as absolute trash stats, like, I'm gonna rage quit. Oh my god, it's in box five. This thing better have good stats. Sturdy. Hold on. I mean, what abilities does this thing get? Yeah, it just has a... Sturdy. Yeah, it only gets sturdy for uh, all of the... Uh, uh, yeah, it just gets sturdy, so. You could also, you can have Mega, you can have De Mega Delta Metagross or Crystal Delta Metagross. So, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So, let's see. Again, so yeah, let's see. Uh, this thing better have good stats or I'm going to blow my mind. Okay, that's all right. Uh that's actually, this is pretty decent. It has a neutral nature, but it has pretty decent. I could use an Ivy Stone on attack. But yeah, it actually is pretty decent. It had 31 defense IVs. That's pretty nice. Really? Okay. I'll, I'm, I don't know. But here's the thing. We will never get a crystal piece, so we'll never be able to crystallize it. But um, hey, at the very least, we'll be able to Mega Delta. It can be a Mega Delta Metagross. So like, where's the other uh, Metang we have? Like, right here. Wait, what the hell is this Pokemon? Delta Dino. Again, these are the Delta Pseudo Legendaries uh, that we're getting, or that we have, so. That's actually pretty nice, though. Also, hold on, so, oh. I meant to continue, because I wanted to, let's put the miss fucking missing, though. I should put missing, though, on my uh, freaking uh, handcrafted team. Oh, look at that, that box. But yeah, I should put missing, though, on my handcrafted team, so. Yeah, can I actually buy something from them now? Because, hold on, do they have, like, any new, I wonder if they have any new stuff post uh, Holland Quest. Uh, no, seemingly not. But, um, yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, again, we'll see. Yeah, I'm obviously, I know what I'm doing. Honestly, I'm not going to go back to Torn just yet, but I'll soar to, uh, I'll soar to, I don't remember which settlement it was, but, uh, yeah, I'll soar to settlement. I think it's Foxtrot. Really, get the fuck out of here, these uh, legendaries. Yeah, there's some in Alpha. On Grasslands. And yeah, here's... Yeah, I'm, I'm not actually going to uh, Torn just yet, because there may be some sort of... It, there very well could be some sort of event that happens or starts immediately after you get back, and that's not what I want to happen. So again, I'm going to save that for the next part. Wow, so that concludes the Holland Quest. I assume we can somehow find the Delta Reggies just because of how cool they are. Um, maybe there's, obviously there's the Meloetta. I'll probably just do that some art point, but, um, I don't trust myself to, to be able to do it. I don't think maybe if I go back and capture the, uh, Delta Reggie trio, um, I'll do that. But again, yeah. Otherwise for now, I'm going to end it here. And in the next part, we'll go explore Maelstrom 9, but yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.